This is question 21 from the 2008 calculator paper. Here we're given a histogram and we're asked to use the information in the histogram to complete the table and use the information in the table to complete the histogram. So let's take a look at the histogram here. I've got my relevant information to the side over here. Now the thing to remember about histograms is that frequency, we think of the frequency as an area. So frequency is an area. So what I could say then is that this bar here that I've got at the beginning, that this bar is an area, okay, and this is representing my frequency. So the area of this bar is representing the frequency of 16, which is a colour that stands out a bit more. So the area of this bar is representing a frequency of 16. Now what's really helpful to do here is to simply, I'm just going to break down this bar into smaller chunks. So I'm just breaking the bar into little boxes and this is going to help me to think and see clearly what the frequencies of the other bars will be. So if this whole bar is worth 16 then each of these little boxes, well how many have I got? I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I've got 8 of these little boxes the total area is 16, so the area of each of these boxes is going to be worth 2 each. So each of these little boxes are representing 2 people each. Now this makes the rest of my histogram much easier to work out because straight away I can see, well, on this next one I need to fill out what is the frequency on this next bar. Well, I can see here that I've got just as many, I've got eight of these small boxes up to this point, and then I've got an extra one on top, so I can say that the frequency for that bar there, 1000 to 2000, is going to be 18. Now let's take a look at the next bar. I need to now figure out how many, what the frequency that's being represented by this bar here. Now, let's see how many of these smaller boxes I've got. So I break it in half, and then break it into these smaller boxes. How many of these smaller boxes have I got in total in this bar? So each of them are worth two. So I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. So what I could say is that the frequency for that bar is going to be 20. Next, well I've got 4006, I already know what the frequency is so that means that I need to fill in, I need to fill in that bar, it's not there at the moment so I need to fill it in, well I know that it's 16 so I need to represent 16 boxes here. So I can see well I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so 6 that would take me to, that would take me to 12 7, 8, that would take me to 16. So, my bar needs to be that height. I can just check that if I need to. I can just check that if I need to. Ooh. I can just check that by just saying, okay, well, I've got 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. two. And so that would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. That must be correct. So, on to the next one. We're back to figuring out how many we've got. So again, we can see here, if I break this down, in this one, I've got 2 in each. I've got 6 of them, so that means that my frequency would be 12. And then this last one, I'm asked to represent the frequency of 8 between 8,000 and 12,000. So between this point and this point, I need to represent 8. So I can see here that I'm going to need a height of just 1, because that would give me 4 boxes of 2, 2, 4, 6, 8. So that's that done. If you didn't quite get this right, I've got a couple of videos that you can take a look at which I will post in the description section of this video.